follow all safety procedures outlined in the service manual. Disconnect power to the pen setter before making repairs. Never work on a machine alone because no one can help you if something goes wrong. Make sure you understand what you're doing before you do it. I am not responsible for your well-being. This video is for demonstration purposes only and is not a how to repair bowling machine video. I encourage you to check out Boltech.com. It is a great living resource about bowling equipment repair and maintenance. My username is Bolton454. Now let's get started. Rake board height adjustment. This adjustment is made to ensure that the rake board stays at the correct height above the lane surface during the entire sweep motion. There are several steps involved when making the rake board height adjustment. Start by measuring from the bottom of the rake sweep arm to the lane surface. This dimension is 63 and 7 16 inches. Step one is cycle the pin setter to zero degrees. Step two is measure the horizontal distance from the rear edge of the rake sweep shaft to the forward edge of the C-shaped lever in the rake lift shaft. It's a little bit bigger than a quarter inch, but let's see how much how much clearance they say I can have. Let's see. Let's see that gap right through there. This should be one quarter inch plus one eighth inch minus zero. Step three, cycle the pin setter to 90 degrees and shut off the power. Measure the gap between the rear surface of the latch roller and the rear edge of the notch in the rake trip shaft. This should be 1 32nd of an inch. To change this dimension, follow the steps in paragraph 3 and 4 on page 37. Step 5 describes how to make the rake lift cam adjustment. Cycle the pin setter to exactly 180 degrees with the rake in the rearmost position. Shut off the power. Manually engage the gearbox clutch and rotate the input worm shaft two full revolutions in the reverse direction. Loosen the six bolts around the hub of the rake lift cam and allow the pressure of the rake cam follower to rotate the cam as the follower seeks the low part of the cam. This will place the rake lift cam in time with the gearbox. Tighten the six mounting bolts. With the rake still at 180 degrees, loosen the bolt that mounts the rake lowering stop bracket to the top left hand side of the pin setter frame. This hex head bolt takes a 15 16 wrench. Rotate the stop bracket until its upper surface is a 16th inch below the bottom of the V lever. This adjustment is made to ensure that the rake board will not jam against the header plank in the event the rake trip latch should fail to re-engage. Manually reverse the pin setter until the rake board is positioned between the 2-3 and the 4-5-6 spots. Loosen the jam nuts on both ends of the rake lift rods and adjust the rods until the bottom of the rake board is 5 8 of an inch above the lane surface and parallel to the lane surface within 1 seconds of an inch.
Tighten the jam nuts. Step 8, after making this adjustment, check the out of range latch adjustment, adjustment 21, page 3-25. That concludes the procedures for making the rake board height adjustment. Keep in mind that rake adjustments are interdependent. The rake board height adjustment, the out of range adjustment, the rake hook adjustment, and the pit cushion lift rod adjustment are all interconnected. It's typical for me to go through these operations more than once just to make sure that the rake is working normally. Thanks for watching Bowl Fix. If you have a minute, like and subscribe and drop a comment down below. We'll see you next time.